I think I saw a picture of you with Brandon Sanderson. Oh man, you got to that one. Yeah. So let's see if I can. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's got to be around here somewhere. So there. Uh, yeah. So um, he's phenomenal, right? Like mm-hmm. he's such a great storyteller. And I had a I had a, a friend of mine tell me recently, like get into the Stormlight trilogy. And I'm like, dude, I have no time. Cause I know like if I get in, like I won't be coming out and I don't have time to like do a get in and come out. That's my wife. She's, she's running through Hello. the camera there uh, looking for the book. So I, I read the wheel of time series and, um, and loved it. And of course, like, um, uh Brand or Sanderson finished the series and so mm-hmm. when the last book was coming out it was like right when I was finishing the series because I was a bit of a okay. late adopter there and uh and so my pastor um at at New Life Community Church he was like hey I'm going to go check out this uh the, this this signing that we're doing do you want to come I know you've been reading the series and I was like absolutely and so um oh there it is it was right behind me my goodness that's why we didn't see it <laughs> So uh, yeah, Memory of Light. Um, and it wasn't just Sanderson who signed it. It was um, uh, it was uh, Robert Jordan's uh, uh, widow. She signed it, and I think that somewhere in there, like the editor signed it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, that's Harriet. So that was uh, that was uh, Robert Jordan's widow. But um, yeah, that was a that was a fun night. Um, yeah, we had a we had a really great time. <laughs> That is awesome. Um, yeah, I you referred to yourself as a late adopter to the series. I I probably started the series maybe two years ago, and I'm okay. like yep. four or five books in. My wife is like eight books in. She started about the same time I did, yeah. but um, <laughs> yeah. she's a faster They're, reader than I am. Mayor Behemoth. Um, I I'm actually a terrible reader. I'm I'm atrocious. Uh, I I do most of my book intake through audiobooks. Um, I okay. try to I try to get through like 75 to 100 books a year and almost all of them are audiobooks played at like two to three and a half times speed. Mm-hmm. And so I was able to crank through the Wheel of Time series within like a month and a half or two. Yeah. One, because the, the series is awesome. But, but two, because I'm listening to the whole thing at like two and a half times speed and working on like house projects or, you know, whatever it is <laughs> I've got going on on the side. So, um, yeah, that like, and that's one of the things that I learned, like, as a, as a student, as an author, um, I have to do my editing. Um, basically like my best editing happens when I listen to a audio playback of my, of my book, which, you know, like text to speech um technology has been amazing for me because i'm like oh i can finally like hear what it sounds like like oh that like that rhymed it's not supposed to rhyme and i wouldn't have picked up on that like reading mm-hmm. it with my eyes i probably would have picked up on it reading with my voice but like i'll lose my voice if i keep doing that oh yeah so yeah uh fun facts but no i yeah I, um it's it is a massive slog i think it's like a 1.9 million word series i'm just some unbelievable amount of text. Oh, yeah. I, I think the last one I finished was more than 800 pages. Yeah. Um, and um, I think the next one is supposed to be like 1200 or something yeah, like that. I think it, is. it was, um, yeah, that it, it, it's so good. He, um, he's phenomenal with the world building. He is. Um, yeah. yeah. Some, sometimes because he's so, he has so vividly put the world together. Yep. It can be a little laborious reading it. It can, yeah. Um, yeah. It, 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 um, yeah, it's a it is a heavy lift. Uh, yeah. And and one of the things that was super interesting because uh, Sanderson um, and uh, and and Harriet gave a a talk um, as part of this reading, and they said like we literally have to sit down. And like go through this massive document where like all of these characters, they all have backstories. Mm-hmm. They all have like interconnections. And like there's there was somebody on the like editorial staff of, of this series that was like the know-it-all person. And so whenever like whenever they had questions about like what happens next in the story, or like reminds us, remind us who this person is, they or like 
help me know about this person. They'd like send that person a message. And this, this like person who knew the series inside and out from these like back notes would say like, well, you can't do this because like this person did this thing or like has this backstory <laughs> that would like conflict with what you're trying to do. It was super interesting. So like, they're like, they, the, you're right. The world was so big that they literally had to have a person on staff to tell about the world. It's like a, their own historian. Wow. <laughs> that yeah, is awesome. fantastic. Yeah. Um, you and I are both um, people of faith, followers of yeah. Jesus. And yeah. I, I was wondering how your faith has impacted your journey as an author. Yeah, that's, that is a great question. Um, and, and a bit of a hard one because 